cook them all off and as you can see it looks like it was kind of sort of not really done the proper not way Do you know what i'm saying this is usually fairly fighting <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Today I am going to be getting my wheels ready for my drag slicks. All right, I've got a bunch of wheels here. These are factory stock Mazda MX-3 wheels. And little did you know, from the factory, MX-3s came with Enki wheels, and these are them. These are Enki wheels. These weigh basically nothing. I'd say they're like close to 10 pounds. I'm not sure, but literally like, I can pick them up with my pinky, no problem. They're really, really light wheels and they're brand name, which is great because I don't want to shred one in half on the track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the tires off of these wheels that are here and not these ones. I've, as you see, I've got more than four here. I've actually got way more than four. I've got close, closer to 10 of them. Every MX-3 I've had, I've saved the wheels. Why would I get rid of them? They're worth money, number one, and number two, Sometimes you scratch wheels or whatever. And number three is burnout wheels. It's also very nice to have a setup set. If your boys come over and you start ripping burnouts just because you're ripping burnouts. So it's great to have wheels. Always save them if you can, especially if they bolt to your car. So now I'm just going to pull them off the rubbers and see if they are straight. I'm gonna put them on my balancer, spin them up on here and make sure there's no bends. And I'm gonna take the four perfect wheels and then sand them down, get them ready for paint, paint them. Just, I'm just gonna rattle can it and then slap my new sexy slicks on. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five wheels off, and I'm gonna check them, see if they're balanced over there on my balancer. And I'm gonna hopefully leave these ones because these tires have a lot of meat on them and why take them off if you're gonna put them back on? So I'm just gonna test those, all these, onto the balancer. And if you're asking kind of like, why do you have a random tire machine and balancer? I do that for business. I have a side business of doing tire changes, selling tires, all that stuff, tire rotations. So if you ever need anything and you're local to me, you'll know if you're local because you'll know, that's why. And um, I can do business for you if you want. But yeah, I have this, this is my personal stuff in my little garage here. So yeah, I'm gonna get right to it. Here I'm just spinning them up on my balancer just to make sure there's no bends or any wobbles of any sort, they've got to go dead straight for being good for drag. All right, so these were all true. I didn't even bother continuing on because these wheels were good enough for me. So what I'm gonna do is just sand them all down, cut all the valves out, I'll pull all, put all new valves in, and then I'm gonna put the tires onto the rims first because with just a, like a crappy spray can job, when you put the tires on, it's probably gonna like mess them up. So I'm just gonna sand them up, put the tires on, and then put paper around the bead and then paint them with the tires on. All balanced up, ready to go. So, and then like they don't need touch. The tire doesn't need to be close to touching the face of the wheel. So they'll look pretty good for just a spray can job. That's the best way if you're gonna do a spray can. And it makes it easy too. So all you gotta do is put paper around the bead and then spray away and then dry.
All right, I got all the wheels rinsed off, got my tires out of storage, had them upstairs. They're brand new. If you didn't see the video of when I first got these, I've got all four now. They're 235, 65, 15s, Mickey Thompson, Super Street Sports Snake Guy. That's what they're called. So I'm just gonna put these tires onto these rims, put my valve stems in, and then balance them up, and then it's time for paint. I know it seems all backwards, but at the same time, it's the, the right way to do it. The wrong way, the, the proper way to, <laughs> to rattle can these boys, because it will get, It'll get screwed up by the balance or the tire machine every time. I literally just put a new duck head on it and I'm and it's called a duck head because it literally is a duck head. It looks like a duck. His name's Larry. But yeah, this is the way I'm doing it, and this is the way I've always done it. I always do things not the right way, the right way, but correctly doing it wrong. All right, all the tires are on, kept the stickers on, but now it's time to balance them. I'm gonna see how in balance they are. Tires are on, wheels are balanced, looking good. So now I'm gonna put them on a table and put paper in between the rim and the tire, and then I can start spraying them. I think I've got some paint here. This is just like a zero budget kind of like deal. I'm just gonna find whatever black I have and put are on. As you can see here, I'm just putting paper in between the actual lip of the wheel and the tire. It just protects the tire from overspray. It actually does a really good job. It pretty much is seamless. All right, so this is an easy way to do this. And as you can see, there's no tire showing whatsoever. You just gotta shove piece of paper in, keep going. If you see a little gap, shove another one in. It's not, not really hard. So say there was a gap right here, which there may be, just grab it. Done, ready to paint, ready to paint. So I'm just gonna kind of like make sure there's no crap on it. And then I'm gonna go locate some paint. Let's go find some. I'm gonna literally just find, oh, I just found some right here. Ah, uh, that's pretty empty. I'll take a look. Found a bit of black. This is literally like $10 per can and the can will pro one can will probably do the whole thing. I'm not gonna, not gonna test that. So I have a spare just in case, but I'm gonna do these three. I don't have enough table room for this, but yeah, I'm just gonna start laying her down. I'll put the... Looking fresh. I got the other one in my car room. Looking good. That's not bad for like an hour job and not going to the store and spending any money. So now I'm just gonna remove this before all the paint dries because you don't want that to happen. But look at that line. That's a pretty clean line. Right on. 
took them all off and as you can see it looks like it was kind of sort of not really done the proper not way you know what i'm saying so they're done they just have to dry a bit and then i can test it test fit it on the car again i might need to do a little bit more cutting out of spots and making sure that it's not going to rub when um david patterson drives my car because if if it rubs when i'm driving i know to air it up he won't because he doesn't have my car you know what i mean like i'm so used to my car so anyways that's it for this episode easy way to paint your wheels in like an hour and a half have a good one like come subscribe see you in the next one this is usually fairly frightening